Good morning, guys. I am going to show you real quick how to see our classroom in Edsby. Um, this is probably one of the most asked questions that I've been getting so far. So I'm just going to do a little tutorial so you guys can see how to get into our classroom page um, and answer those questions that I have posted after you read those stories on my own. Let me get this started. Sorry, this is my first time doing this, guys, so bear with me. Okay, so if I am going to share with you my screen. Um, so what we need to do is, Ms. Clackamush needs to log out as herself, and I'm going to log in as a student, guys. So this way you can see what it would look like as you when you are viewing. Something else that's really important is when you go to log in and you click on um, the story, it might it might have you log in again, and it might say that your username is incorrect. You need to type the at sign hcps.net, and then that will get you logged in. So when you guys log into Clever, this is the page that you see. Um, you have favorite resources and then you have teacher pages. So you guys can see all of those pages there. Mr. Stone has a page, Ms. Dodds has a page, and then Ms. Quackmush and Ms. Moscato have a page. As you guys can see right here, I have the week one, look at me. Again, it's a little yellow to chick. So you click on that and then Monday, it says packet and online learning, follow the icons in order. Remember, you don't have to do it all in one day. You don't even have to do it all this whole week. Um, so go through, and then right here, if you click on Edsby, it should bring you to log in. So Ms. Quackamush has to log out because she's logged in as herself. I want you guys to be able to see what it's going to look like. Okay, so when you log in to Edsby, this is what you're going to see, okay? Over here on the left, side. This is what Ms. Quackenbush is talking about. You guys can see all of your classes, all of your teachers. The two most important ones, you guys are going to look here um, for Quackenbush math. Homeroom, if you're in my homeroom, if you're in Ms. Moscato's homeroom, it's going to say click here, Moscato math homeroom. If you're in my homeroom, it's going to say Quackenbush ELA. If you're in Ms. Moscato's homeroom, it's going to say Ms. Mus or it's just going to say Moscato ELA. You need to click right there on the name. Do not click on the blue My Work. Click right here on the name. And then in yellow will be the new updates and new posts that I've put up there. So for today, you can see I posted it 47 minutes ago. You're gonna pick one character from Hair Apocalypse and describe them to me. Pretend I've not read the story. Um, and if you watch and you hover your mouse, you can like, the post, you can reply to the post and type in your answer, and that will let me see what um, what you guys have answered. This was yesterday's. If you didn't do it, don't worry about doing it again, okay, guys? Um, so this is where you're going to see your work. As you can uh, see up here is the little message. That's the way that you guys can talk right to me. You can talk to Miss Moscato and ask us any questions. Um, this is also a way we know if you are checking ads B or not, okay, guys? We want you to make sure that you're trying to get on as often as you can. I hope this has cleared up some confusion for you guys with ads B. Again, if you have any questions, please message myself or Ms. Moscato, and we look forward to seeing you guys soon.